Well, it's the first day of school for students in Duval County, and it also brought some headaches for parents trying to get their kids to and from school. Yeah, the district sent out a notice yesterday saying it's experiencing a shortage of bus drivers. As Action News Jack's Megan Moriarty reports, there were dozens of delays this afternoon. day back to school is like a marathon for parents. They're just trying to get to the finish line. Our first day goal is always to get them at school, get them fed and get them home safely. But some parents want to know how can they get there safely if the ride doesn't show up at all. We had numerous problems with the high school bus route last year and uh, it seems like it's going to be the same thing this year. Vaughn Smith has four grandchildren heading back to school in Duval. His high schooler's bus didn't show up this morning. Normally, it seems like the high school, particularly Sandalwood High School bus route, is just, you know, they're, they're not reliable. The district sent us an email yesterday saying, quote, the driver shortage became significantly worse last week as drivers expected to return for the year chose not to do so. Our contractors are currently short more than 130 drivers. The district contracts out for buses using STA and Durham, but STA runs the majority of routes. During a one on one interview last year in our Action News Jacks investigation into STA, we asked the vice president of operations if he thinks the company is doing a good job getting kids to school. I've never felt more confident and they work tirelessly every day to constantly try and figure out how can we become more efficient? How can we get better? How can we improve on our already robust safety practices? Action News Jax brought you live updates on bus delays during our morning show. And around 1.30 this afternoon, I checked in on afternoon delays. All the routes in red were delayed between 30 to 60 minutes or had a working on coverage status. I wanna make sure my grandchildren get the proper education and on time, and a lot of times if that can't happen on time, that reflects back to the student. For local coverage you can count on, Megan Moriarty, Action News Jack.